Okay, so the first thing you want to do before you do anything else, I must tell you that this does involve a third party plugin. It, the plugin is called Keylight. Now you can download Keylight at thefoundry.co.uk. The, the exact link to the downloads page of Keylight will be in the video description. Now remember, if you are using Adobe CS3, remember to download the latest version of it that is meant for Adobe CS3. If you are using Adobe After Effects 7, then rem um, remember to download the latest version of that that's, um, that's meant for Adobe After Effects 7. And if you're using less than 7, then I don't know. Go find another tutorial. Okay, so um, after you have downloaded the plugin from the foundry.co.uk, um, import your video to your computer and then open up Adobe After Effects, then import it to the project window. Next thing you want to do is drag in your um, video to the timeline. Okay, so next what you want to do is create a mask. mask. So to do that, click on the pen tool, make sure the layer of the video is selected, and make a mask around what you want to show. So right now I want to show me and this chair. By the way, if any of you were wondering what that chair there that's sitting there for no reason is for, um, well, I really don't know what it's for. I just put it there. Hopefully, one day Megan Fox will be there. I don't know. But, yeah, for now, it's empty. Okay, so after you created that mask, what you want to do is go ahead and use that plugin. Go to Effect. With the layer selected, go to Effect, Keying, then click on Key Light. Once you click on key light, you go, go to the screen color. So the screen color, click on this little pen droplet thingy, and you want to choose green. Obviously, the green screen. If you're using a blue screen, you want to choose blue. So now you want to choose something that's most that's close to where you are. So I'm just going to choose right there. Okay. <clears throat> And once you choose that, it should disappear. And there you have it. So now everything's disappeared in the background. So everything looks black right now in the background. If we toggle the transparency grid, grid then you see what's going on. You see that in the background there's nothing. But I'm just going to, well, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that because that way I get to see what's going on. Okay, so right now, I did this on purpose. I made the video really crappy on purpose so I could tell you guys, to not to not do this. So I'm gonna give I'm gonna start giving you guys the tips on how to make it look good. Well I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not, but it's really, really pixelated right now. So in order to stay away from that, here are some tips. Tip number one, use a good camera. Right now I really don't have a good camera. I'm just using my digital camera at the moment. So yeah, it's really not a good camera for recording this kind of stuff. Second of all, keep the place really lighted. You want it to be lighted, first of all, for the for the movie or whatever you're making to look good, and second of all, so the green screen's lighted. Okay, next, you want to make sure that the green screen's not wrinkled so it doesn't cause any shadows. So if you have shadows, that's a big problem. Next, if you're going to use some shiny metal stuff or anything that's going to attract light, for example, if it's going to attract the color from the green screen so let's say I have a black or a, a piece of metal in my hand that's gonna attract the green color of the green screen you wanna stay away from that because that's really difficult to get rid of okay so right now it looks really pixelated so what you wanna do to fix that is first of all change the view in key lights change the view to screen matte that's screen m-a-t-t-e so once you click that everything should go to either black, white, or gray. Now, what you want to do is get rid of this stupid, annoying gray color. So, to do that, um, let's see, hold up a second. Okay, so in order to get away from that green color, you want to click right here and open up this little, um, I don't know what it's called, um, this little thing that click on screen. M A T T E, matte, matte, whatever you want to call it. Just click on that little triangle thing, and um, some more options should open up. You want to click on the triangle thing for clip black, and the, again the triangle thing for clip white. 
from now on, you guys are going to refer to that thing as the triangle thing because, well, that's what I'm referring you to. Okay, so after you have done that, you want to basically bring out the black and the white and get rid of all the gray. So in order to do that, I'm just going to start raising this white little by little. And you don't want to do it too much because then you're going to get these ugly pixelated edges, which I'm going to show you guys how to fix. Okay, so the white looks good. So now let's go to the black. Increase the white a little more. Okay, so that looks pretty good for now. Okay, so what you want to do after you have done that, you want to... Well, you're going to get those ugly razorized or whatever you want to call the ugly pixelized whatever um, edges. So in order to fix that, you want to go to screen pre-blur and put the number up. So let's say, I don't know, maybe 2, 2.5. Uh, yeah, 2.5 looks pretty good. Okay, so after you're, um, you're satisfied with the way this looks, you want to change it back to your final result. Once it's back to final result, then you'll see. Let's get started on putting the background on. Okay, so as you see, it's back to the final result, and it's looking way better than before. I don't know if you guys could see it, um, because I don't know if the quality's that good with Camtasia Studios, but I could sure see it from my point of view. Okay, so next, go to the project window, and I'm going to drag down the text work on bad logo. And you want to drag it, obviously, under the, um, the video clip. And once you have done that, see, you'll see the whatever you just put. You could put video. I'm just going to put the text work on bad logo. Resize it, and you'll see it in the background. And that's pretty much it. Just go through your video. Go through your video. Make sure everything's looking all good. Make sure nothing's cut off because of the mask we put. And yeah, make sure it looks up good. And so once you're done with that, you want to render it. And um, since this is my first After Effects tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to render it. But in my other tutorials, I'm not going to be doing that. So you want to uh, watch this video if you want. You want to watch this tutorial if you want to know how to render it. Okay, so once you're satisfied with the way it, way it looks, click on Composition. Then click on Add to Render Queue or Control Shift and the little slash whatever you call it the thing with the question mark just uh, for the shortcut key so click add to render queue okay so let's make this bigger so we can see what's going on <clears throat> okay so the rendering details you want to click on right here first of all you want the render settings to be best settings you want the log to be errors only you want to output to whatever the name is dot avi and then right here where it says output module click on lossless or whatever it says right there change click on this little arrow thing and change it to lossless once you have changed it to lossless click on it once you clicked on it this little window will pop up you want to make sure everything all everything you want is the way you want it all the settings and stuff and if you want the sound to be there the audio to be there Obviously, click right here where it says audio output. So let's say you recorded something with you talking. If you don't click on that audio output, it's not going to think. It's not going to talk. Your mouth will be moving and you'll just look like an idiot because there'll be no sound coming out. So you want to click audio output and if you want, mess around with the settings. But I would just leave it and just click audio output to make the sound go and click OK. And then click render. Wait for it to load. Wait for it to render and then you, it would it's going to render the um the thing to your desktop and then from there you could just change it or put it to wherever you want it so that's it my tutorial on green screen hope you guys learned something today be creative with this have fun with it i know i am and goodbye